If you'd like to know more about your customers, you can set up customer profile questions that will be asked during registration. Now you can tie customer profile questions to your plans and ask certain questions based on which plans the customers choose at checkout. So you have several options of form elements that you can use to ask these profile questions. The first of which is the date field. All we have to do is drag from the right hand side here to the left hand side and it'll add our profile question. Here we can give our profile question a label. We can say whether or not we want it to be required. And then you can give it some, some tooltip text if you'd like as well. You can just click save to save your profile questions. You can use the pencil icon to collapse and expand the profile question so that you can access the options inside. The next is the checkbox group. Checkboxes give you the ability to ask your customer to choose any number of items out of a list of options. Here we can set our options. We can click Add Option to add another. Then we click Save. Next we have a radio group. Radio group is like almost the same thing as the checkbox group except for your customer can only choose one option out of the list. And we'll click Save. Next we have a select dropdown. Select dropdown gives you the same capability as the radio group. Um, however, it's presented in a drop-down style instead of with radio buttons where all the options are out. Select drop-downs are really good if you have a lot of questions you want to ask that could be asked with the radio buttons, but they take up a little less space with the drop-down. So we could say, are you a homeowner? So yeah, select drop-downs are really good for, for yes and no style questions. And lastly, we have a text input. Text input allows your customer to type whatever they want to into the text box. So this is good for like engraving or, or anything that you need customized. Um, you can require that. And uh, you know, again, you have the option to add tooltip text if you'd like. So once we've created our customer profile questions, we want to enable them on a plan. So we want to go to plans and manage plans. And here we can find our plans. Now here you can see our customer profile questions in this section here where we can check off which questions we want to ask for this plan. Then we just click save plan and now when a customer chooses this plan the profile questions we've selected will be asked.